How's everybody doing? This is Michael Sorrell with Ultimate Holiday Fitness Blog. I've been getting a lot of emails and phone calls from people that are, have registered for <coughs> contests. And I get this a lot too from individuals from when I do my seminars here in the community. How come I don't get the results that I want with my fitness program? I've been walking, I go to the gym, I would do my workouts at home, I eat healthy, I don't overeat, I don't eat sweets, I mean stuff like that. Now, talking, now let's, let's take off the equation as far as your eating. If you don't see results with your fitness program, it might be because of your fitness program and also it might not, it might be because your eating is not as well as it should be. If you think you're eating healthy and you're not seeing results, well, you might have to ask a professional if you are eating healthy. A lot of times people say, well, I, I ate healthy this morning. I had some orange juice and a piece of fruit and, and a granola bar. Well, that's all sugar. You know? Now, is that healthier than a sausage with muffin with egg? or a breakfast burrito from McDonald's, I don't know. I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. You want to have a balanced meal, and in this blog, I know we've given you some advices on nutrition tips, and so I'm going to talk just about the fitness program that you're in right now. There are three things that you have to really, really consider when you work out. If you if you know, or if you've been working out with us, my boot camp, my one-on-one -on -one training session here at the studio, you know the intensity that I want from you, each of you that come into my class or my one-on-one -on -one clients, the intensity and the passion that I want from each of you when you work out with me. Because you know what? You need to work hard. That's basically what it comes down to. How many of you see people at the gym, they get on the elliptical machine, and they do it for 30 minutes, and they say, oh my God, I burned 600 calories in 30 minutes. No, you did Elliptical machine is calibrated in a way that it's going to almost triple the calories that you really burn. You're not going to burn 600 calories in 30 minutes on the elliptical machine because momentum is actually being used, not your muscles, to be able to do that movement like this. And you're not gonna burn 600 calories. I mean, it's very difficult to burn 600 calories. So, unfortunately, we do get false information from equipments on how many calories we burn, but I don't even want you to worry about that. What I want you to think about is how hard you're really working. If you haven't worked out in many, many years, and you go walking for 10, 15 minutes, of course, that's very taxing in your body. That, you are working out hard there. And you need to continue that. But there comes a time when your body gets accustomed to your workout. So if you walk, if you go to the gym, you walk on the treadmill, you do a couple of arm exercises, you do some ab exercise, and you leave, and you're out of there in an hour, or even worse, you're out of there in two hours and you've only done two or three sets of exercise because you're talking so much. You're not working out hard enough. You're not working out hard enough. So three things you need to think about. You gotta work out hard, which means you really gotta kick your butt. And for all of you that have done my boot camps, for all of you that have watched our videos, if you're a one-on-one -on -one client of mine, you know what it means to work hard. I push you to basically your discomfort zone. What I mean by that is people don't like to sweat too much. People don't like to get pushed enough. So they want to be in that comfort zone. Well, you know what? In that comfort zone, you're not going to see maximum results that you want. So you want to get out of that comfort zone, and that's my job is to get you just a little bit off that comfort zone so you improve. If you're always, if you're always at this level working out, and the second you get to that level, you come back down because it's uncomfortable, you're never going to improve. You need to go just a little bit higher 
push yourself a little bit harder, and then come back down. Then you're going to see results. So push yourself. Work out hard. Another one, add variety to your workout. Don't do the same thing over and over and over again. If your schedule is to go to the gym, walk for 20 minutes, do a couple of exercises, and leave, if you've been doing that for three months, one month, two months, guess what? That's the reason why you're not seeing results. Going to the gym is not enough to see maximum results. If you've been doing that for a while, you need to change that. You need to do maybe do weights first and do cardio after. Maybe do a different type of cardio workout. Instead of the elliptical, get on the treadmill, get on the bike, get on the Stairmaster. Got to do something different. Got to add variety to your workout. Okay, so kick butt, add variety to your workout, and what's the last thing? Stay with it. How many of you have known people who have worked out so hard for one month and then you don't see them for the rest of the year? And they, they always complain that they never see results. Guess what? It's because you're not consistent with it. You don't stay with the program. So, got to work hard, kick butt with your workouts each time, get away from that comfort zone, stay with it, be consistent, and variety. Add variety to your workout. Those are the three, three main reasons why people do not see results with their fitness program. And if you do all three, you are going to see results. And if you've been coming here at the studio, you know that we kick butt, you know we add variety to your workout, and you know you get your money's worth. You know that. And I love doing these boot camps. I love training people. And you see the energy that I have when I'm doing this. There's my client right now. So I better go, okay? Take care and stay at it. Stay with it. Stay with it.